Hi everyone, I'm going to continue the series of this awesome Dafyomi Masechet Gitin we are talking about. And one of the most famous pages of the Gemara in the whole of the tractate uh, Gitin, or the whole of the Talmud Babli, is actually featured today here in Masechet Gitin on page Nun Zayin. We're talking about 57 today, where it talks about so many things in a nutshell. I'll give just a brief outline before I give my main thoughts. It talks about why... The Bet HaMikdash was destroyed. The first and second Bet HaMikdash gives three different reasons, three different stories. It concludes with including the st- story of the rooster and the hen and also Kamsa and Bar Kamsa we talked about already and how they didn't uh, contemplate the actions of what they did. Many, many things. Also, it features and talks about at Jerusalem that uh, people that will not see the Geula, will not see the rebuilding of the uh, Bet HaMikdash, are the people that don't mourn the destruction of the Bet HaMikdash that took place, obviously the first and second ones. But what's interesting is at the end of the Gemara in today's stuff, it relates to something very, very famous about the power of Torah, how one has got to work and toil so hard in the precious Torah so much. If one wants to acquire it, a lot of work has to be taken, just like an athlete wants to become the top athlete, the top football player, let's just say, he's got to work day and night. You know, when one is trying to toil in Torah and learn so much Torah, that is how they are going to exceed and are going to succeed the most. And uh, I'll quote what the Gemara says at the end of the page over here. It actually quotes uh, from the Amat Rab Shimon Ben Lakish, from a great rabbi of the name Rab Shimon Ben Lakish. He says, Ein debrei Torah mit kaimin, ela b'meishu mit atzmo alehem. Only for people that are willing to like perish themselves over it with the toil, toilness, with the work that they are to do it. And they quote a pesuk, which is quoted, Adam ki yamut bo ohel. Where is this uh, pesuk featured? Now, I'll say the whole pasuk is actually featured in uh, Sefer Bamin Bar in Perek Yutet. The whole pasuk actually says, Zot atura Adam ki yamut bo ohel, kol aba el ohel b'chol asheb ohel, yitma shivat yamim. That's uh, so it quotes those few words in regard to so about Ben Lakish is very much saying that uh, obviously one cannot we're not talking about a case where someone's going to lose his life over it but one's going to toil so hard in it it's not going to be like just reading it superficially is going to help the person succeed and to uh, learn to it zenith it mean it talk, we're talking about day and night what is it, the cynic could say well people are working we're in modern day. There's not enough hours of the day to learn, but no, there is. For example, someone's on the bus, someone's in the car. One can uh, listen to a shura, uh, Torah class, a Shura Torah, on the way there. Can, someone's walking in the street to work. You can listen on the earphones to a Torah thought that there could be. One is, you know, just doing mundane things. Give that up at the time. If one is just wasting time, you know, you can learn Torah and uh, grasp things. One is educating their kids, you know, it's Shabbat table and everything else. Why gossip? Why gossip? Give a Devar Torah away. Say, say some words of Torah. Thirst it. You're with someone that knows is studying Torah. Ask them, challenge them for a Devar Torah. Challenge them for an idea within regards to Torah. That's what we're here for. We're here to toil. We're here to uh, succeed and to get the best of ourselves. And that is only going to be done through the Torah. And we see in these stuff all the consequences and the punishments that occurred. Much of it is because the people were devoid of Torah at that point in time. And it led to frivolously, it led to uh, badness, it led to uh, Averot and everything else. But it, the Torah is the antidote at the end of the day. So the one thing that will reduce uh, Yitzhahara, the evil inclination, is learning Torah, spending those two times. And it's actually interesting, I'll leave you with this thought that... Uh, you know, sometimes people say that, uh, you know, I'm learning, big deal, so what? It's like a study book. No, not at all. Torah is very precious. And the cynic could also say, it's too difficult. I find it difficult to learn. I don't want to learn. You know, it's uh, too much, too much for me. No, you can learn. And the difficulty is actually part of it. Because, let's give an analogy. On I've related this over before, where a great rabbi once said that on Rosh Yom Kippur, it's judged how much pleasure someone is going to get ahead inside the year and how much god forbid suffering they are going to receive in that year it's let's just call it like points someone's going to receive 200 points of uh, pleasure and uh maybe unfortunately 200 points of suffering however the rabbi actually says that one can channel where this suffering god forbid is actually going to go to for example is it going to come through five root canals which is very very painful or five wisdom teeth 
Or is he going to be getting up in the morning, a cold, crisp morning, in uh, cold, snowy weather, and going to dab and shakar it inside a minion, make up a minion? Are you going to get, you know, those toiling points which are going to be difficult, is it going to come from this point? Or is it going to come from frivolous stuff, pleasure stuff, which uh, is going to li lead, obviously, to our Can we control it? Is it going to be the wisdom teeth we're going to have to suffer with? Or is it going to be the toil in the Torah study that we're going to have? And that's the choice we've got over here. And that's what the Gemara at the end is saying over. And it's no coincidence. Actually, the page of the Gemara of page 57 actually concludes with that. I think it's actually hinting that all these things that resulted in the destruction of the Beta Mikdash, in the destruction of the temple, it could have been avoided if people would have pursued and toiled and worked very hard and learn Torah, like it advocates at the end of the of this uh, daf, uh, if they would have actually toiled inside the study. And uh, that's what one has got to do every single day. And that's my bracha I give to everyone that is listening to this. I would like to dedicate this once again to the Hatzlacha of Tamar Batrut in uh, any thing, thing she needs Hatzlacha with within uh, her life currently. And guys, have an awesome day. Please look over the previous videos we've done. Now, I think this is a 56th video, 56th installment here in Masechet Gitin already. You can also look at the previous uh, Gemaras, which I did on Masechet Ketubat, Nedarim, Nazir, and also Masechet Sota, which I had done on previous months. And, uh, you know, please share it and uh, enjoy it and look at all the other videos. Guys, have an awesome day and keep learning with the Dafyomi. Enjoy. Bye.